Is it... is it really all over? Obviously I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. That's not true. <laughs> there's literally more clues left, but... You know. Dying a message! There you go. <laughs> Hametsu, what'd she say? Ham I don't know. That's, she didn't say die, literally. In Japanese, she, she said like a different word. But anyway, there's still one clue left. I'm sure of it. Saika left on the wall. She was leaning up against. Only one clue. I, I did put uh, for the difficulty options, by the way. I didn't put it on kind. You know, I didn't put it on easy mode, I feel. I put it on normal. So there sh it should be, you know, multiple bullets. But maybe in this one, you don't need multiple bullets. Anyway. Hey, we got, we got more of a clue though. Dying message. See, dying message. They, I don't know. In, I don't know why, what it is, but it just seems to pop out when they say it in English, um, in Japanese. If that makes sense. They say an English word in Japanese. But anyway, dying message. Dying message. Are you saying that in Japanese? Like, Ichi Ichi Zero. Ichi Ichi Zero. Uh, San Nana is what she said. That's what it is. What could the numbers mean? Ichi 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 Zero. Or Ichi 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 Zero. San Nana. Like, say that five times fast. Ichi Ichi Zero. San Nana. Ichi Ichi Zero. Na San Nana. Anyway. Um, but yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know, whatever. This, this is an infamous clue, by the way. It's like... Anyway, I won't spoil it. It's what people think of when they think of Danganronpa. It's this clue in particular. Hmm. There's no question that Saika wrote that message and I can prove it. Uh, right wrist, fatal wound. I mean, obviously her finger. I mean, not what else would she write? Her right wrist? That's kind of hard to write with. Her fatal wound? Did she just bleed on it and somehow it made that pattern? Some? I mean, you know, somehow <laughs> by just random chance, you just bleed all over the mirror. And then, or what was it the mirror? Like a wall or something? I don't know. It, it just it just formed that particular, you know, <laughs> number, I guess. But no, it's her finger. その左手の人差し指が自然折れてたりその指で血文字を書いたからだよ。彼女はその前の争いで右手を骨折していたはずだ。それで左手で書いたのだな。前園ちゃんが書いたのはいいとしてもさ。その1110313なんだってどんな意
N. How could it be? N037. That sounds like a. I don't know. Oh, well, is there like a mask that's kind of like that? Or something? Maybe it's called something else. Anyway, it just reminds me of like a name for like a. Like a type of mask. I don't know. Oh, damn, it's no use. I just don't know. What could it mean? Okay, well, why you gotta spoil it, Kyokyo? -kyo? Gosh. She's, so, she's such a walking spoiler, as in she just spoils everything. Huh? Rotate it? Like, put it in Photoshop and just, you know, like, transform the image by rotating it? I think, maybe, maybe I see something. Noelle, yes, Noelle did it. It was Noelle. Saika's dying message reveals the real killer's name. If you turn her message 180 degrees, and not 360 degrees, sometimes people are like, you know that joke about how like you go up to an Xbox, you know, and then you do a 360 or whatever? <laughs> like, it's supposed to be 180, but people make the joke about like you go to an Xbox, you do a 360, and then you turn around and leave, but like that's not correct because if you do a 360 you just go back to where you were looking at anyway 180 is what you mean if you want to like turn around it should become crystal clear select someone all right this is the fun part fun is it Maizono? she killed herself i mean i don't know that's so sometimes in a lot of mystery stories sometimes it's like they just killed themselves i guess it's kind of cliche though this is kind of also anticlimactic uh, it was this guy. He killed her. Nope. It was her. Probably not. I mean, she's dead too, but obviously... I don't wonder how that works, actually. If the Blacken killed someone and then they already died, and... Anyway, I guess we'll see if that actually happens. Uh, Sakura. I mean, she's definitely strong enough, but... Kyokyo. Ondo. Aoi. Asahina. It's Monokuma. I'm trying to pick Monokuma. Come on. No, okay. Technically, it's indirectly Monokuma's fault. I mean, he calls everyone to, like, kill each other in the first place, right? But... Uh, big hair guy! Kihiro! Byakuya! Teles! Select your fighter! Mm, okay, obviously, it's just like... This guy is myself! I picked myself! No, um... So, obviously, it's Leon, because if you rotate the letters, it... Is L E O N as it turns out. Again, it's like super obvious for anyone who knows English, I guess, which is like probably 90% of players who, you know, picked up the game in the localized uh, localized version. But you know, again, Ooh. it's not. Super, I feel like it's a bigger like you know surprise if you don't know if you're not familiar with the English language anyway. You know? Well, anyway, so yeah, you just rotate it and it just, it just says Leon. It's like a very big clue right there. I mean, like, also it's like the first trial, right? It, sh it shouldn't be that hard to really figure out who the killer is anyway. They make it like super easy uh, uh, intentionally, right? So that you can like really feel like what the what the game is like, you know, and understand the mechanics. Because obviously they're going to like, you know, the difficulty is going to go up and get more complicated uh, sooner than later after this one. But... We'll see. Whoop! Ta-da! L-E-O-N! Oh! How could it be? Just a coincidence, don't worry about it. Yep, I mean that's what... Wasn't that, wasn't that what I said before? How like she just bled on the thing and then it was it was just a coincidence, you know? It's just RNG. It just like one in like a million chance that it just happened to look like his name is all. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a wall. I don't know why I keep thinking it's a mirror. I mean, maybe, well, probably it's because it's like, you know, it's like obviously reversed, you know, so that's why in my head I think it's like in the, on a mirror or something, but it's not a mirror. It's just a wall. I'm, I'm literally doing it in real life, like, like miming it, I guess, yeah. I mean, how would you like... I don't know, anyway. <laughs> Oh, big assumption. Tell him, Nagi. The evidence that Leon tried to get rid of, it's that thing I found on the ground from the incinerator, right? It's... I mean, the only thing that was, that was you know, slightly destroyed or was attempted to be destroyed was this thing, right? A piece of burnt clothing was found next to the incinerator in the trash room. It is apparently part of a shirt cuff. It has noticeable, noticeable blood stain on it. Was he wearing a shirt? I mean, he was wearing a shirt, right? But it's like his jacket or something? I don't know, I don't know how that works. I don't know. Anyway, let's just present it. Yeah, I don't know if he, I can't. When, when we see his sprite, though, he's not, he's not wearing like a, a dress shirt, you know? So he doesn't have a cuff, but anyway. I gotta look at like him. He's right there. See, he has the weird paper clip on his jacket. I, I guess it's a jacket or like, this jacket doesn't look like he has a cuff. It's hard to see though. I don't know. It's weird. He's wearing like a, a shirt though. He's like wearing like a t shirt. Or maybe he just. Or maybe he just happened to be wearing that shirt, you know? When that happened, I guess. Isn't that right, Kuata? No, 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 no. No? Mm, white button up. Yeah, I mean, Chihiro is wearing one, and also Byakuya, you see right there. Mm, I mean, I guess it's, I mean, I guess I, I mean, it's weird, but I, I would call it a jacket rather than a shirt, but I guess it is his, like, weird jacket thing, you know? There's, I think there's a bit of a cuff. Hard to tell. No, there, there, there it is. He's so angry. Uh, but yeah, there you go. You can see a bit of a cuff there. Yeah, okay. I guess he just happens to have like multiple jackets, I guess, in his room. I don't know how that works, but maybe Monokuma gave him an extra jacket, I guess. The burnt remains of the button-up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. Alright, so this is like an interesting question. So, when it was disposed, where it was disposed, or how it was disposed? Hmm, I don't know. Where it was disposed, it was in the trash. Trash room, obviously, because I already know that. That's obvious. When it was disposed... I mean, after the killing, I guess, which is after 1.30 a.m. But it's, well, it doesn't really matter because I'm thinking of the trash room. Uh, it was Hifumi's uh, duty to, like, you know, do the cleaning duty and all that. He, only he had the key and, you know, when it happened doesn't really matter because there's no testimony. Unlike in the dining room with, like, Asahina, 
uh, there's just no one there to really confirm whether or not the killer was there in the first place. So maybe how it was his fault? I mean, that's a big mystery, right? Because the gate was closed and yet the incinerator was turned on already. So that's like a big question. So maybe that one? Okay, got it. Actually, I didn't know, to be honest. Sometimes it's hard to tell where the game is going, you know? It's like, what, what is I like, actually trying to ask, to be honest? But yeah, you know, it really is, you know, maybe not the entire game, but definitely it really is like my first playthrough all over again, you know, where I get confused and like, ah, what am I doing? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, so how the shirt was disposed of, we should figure out who the killer is. なるほど。俺には分かったぞ。トラッシュルームの鉄格子を開けなきゃ焼却炉には近づけねえし。あの焼却炉のスイッチも押せねえはずだよな。そんでそのトラッシュルームの鍵は掃除当番が持ってんだ
Are you too dumb to know what's happening? Again, it's uh, important to like, yeah, you're missing a lot of context if you're only watching this part. Definitely watch the first part when you get the chance, or I don't know, I mean, just if you want to anyway. I'm just like, you know, if you want to like know what's going on, or like what's happening and everything, definitely like watch the very beginning because it, this is a type of game that's very, um, what do you call it? It's like narrative driven, you know, it's very linear, you know, so. It's not something you just go in the middle, I guess. But, you know, if you want to know everything, I guess. I mean, the case itself, you know, might be a little bit self-contained, but to understand the overall context, definitely you gotta follow the story from the beginning, I feel like. And that's also why I feel like, you know, it's a bit of a commitment. I mean, just like any kind of visual novel game, it's always a bit of commitment to, like, streaming and everything, because obviously, you know, when you come in randomly, when a random viewer comes in, it's like, what's going on? I don't know, you know, it's like, I can't really explain it from the very, you know, I can't summarize everything from the very beginning you just have to watch you know or otherwise just uh, you know get the game yourself that's partially you know I, I like this game so i don't mind if people just don't watch me if anything if they like the game they should just get the game themselves you know if they want if they can buy it because i think it's worth it you know <laughs> anyway all right so uh yeah as you know you know someone could dispose of evidence without using the, the key so <laughs> The killer had to use a glass ball in a certain way, which was divine. Yes, just, just like divine it and then shoots like a beam or whatever. No. Um, roll it like a bowling ball. I mean, kind. I mean, unless there was a ramp in the <laughs> not very yet. Yeah, kind of like ski ball, right? Or whatever. At like an arcade, you know, you just, just kind of like ski ball it. No, um, okay, you gotta throw it. Also, stop shooting fireworks. Yeah, anyway, throw it. <laughs> Kind of hard though. I mean, there's like it, it, the gate itself, you know, wasn't like uh, entirely like um, it doesn't have like a big hole, you know, so like a bit of a gap to it. So it's kind of hard to aim at. I don't know. You would like accidentally hit the gate <laughs> itself. I feel like anyway. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, it's like that's pretty hard to do. Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. Yeah. Somebody turned it on. ハニーの結合子の中に入っていないことは証拠隠滅後の状況は物語っているわ割れたガラス玉スケッパなしの焼却炉の火燃えかすが残ってしまったという雑な処分方法掃除当番のハニーならもっと丁寧に証拠を
Well, it wouldn't have been much of a challenge at all for the killer because... They're clairvoyant. They're the fanfic creator, obviously. No, they're baseball stars. So, obviously, if you're like a pitcher, then maybe. You know, I feel like... I don't know. It is interesting how like all the little like, you know, the titles that every character has, you know, what they're really good at and everything. It, I guess, at least in this case, it does come to play. So it is it is important to know what everyone does because it turns out it is actually part of uh, what you need to know. So the reason why the killer was able to throw the crystal ball through the gap in the gate is because they're a freaking baseball star. Wow. I mean, this is, it's obvious at this point, but you know, gotta say it. <laughs> Man, you see, he's like going all in about, I mean, the voice actor in particular. ふ、ふ、ふ、ふざけんな。俺は。犯人なんかじゃねえっつの。それが今の推理だって全然間違ってんだよ。このクソボケ受けたれ。まだ認めない。だって。内地君。もう一度事件を振り返り。彼の犯
Aya, you know, and she misses. Unfortunately, she did very, not very good plan, by the way. Uh, she could invite like somebody like smaller or something. I mean, not to be morbid, but maybe she could have killed like Chihiro or something. The Chihiro's like very short. She like probably killed her, but nope. Invite the wrong person, I feel like. You literally invite like an, a a an athlete, you know? So it's a horrible idea. I don't know what you would think, you Saika. Anyway. Um, let's see here. It was like, I know, miss. And it's like, uh, and then probably this part, I think. And it's like, ah, ah, I'm going to kill you. And it's like, hmm. And then he's like, and then she's like, hiya, attack again. And he's like, hiya, parry. It's like Dark Souls, boom, parry. It's like, ah, why are you attacking me? I'll, I'll kill you instead. Hiya, boom. And then, I like, know, oh, her wrist, and then fall, dagger falls and everything. And then, uh, what else? What happens after that, to be honest? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, well, he's probably just menacing. It's like, I'm going to kill you. It's like, oh, no. And then, <laughs> and then act three. Uh, better invite Sakura. <laughs> just like, uh, you know, maybe things would have turned out better if she actually invited Sakura. Be honest i mean it's too late now but sakura is just way more powerful than her she'll be she'll just disar disarm her and she'll just be like what are you doing you idiot <laughs> you know and then talk her down probably but obviously you know he's just a bad target to be honest i don't know if she had a i don't know hmm. well there's this this thing as well actually hold on put that away what's the hint actually after the killer counter side gets attack when attack of their own what did they do next hmm or maybe this is a red herring actually because this yeah this is just the same as this okay oh yeah i forgot there's like red herrings in the in this uh, section so this is not something you can use actually this is already part of the thing can i see what this is uh, i just want to hear a description for the for these things but i guess not hmm. what they do next i don't know I guess that's it. They're just like menacing her, and then she runs to the bathroom, you know. And then uh, obviously he, the killer doesn't know that the bathroom is like weird. They can't like open it properly, so it's like, oh, can't open it. It's rattle, 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 rattle. They force the bathroom to open. The only logical way they could have done it was, uh, I mean, I guess they use this, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Even though I think it w it wouldn't open anyway, even if it broke the lock, but. Uh, uh, he legit acted in self-defense in the first part, but after breaking the door, he don't know anymore. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the point, right? After he got attacked, he's like, maybe this is my opportunity to kill her as well, haha, -ha, you know? It's not really self-defense. I mean, this is literally, like, I believe in Canada, like, in real life, literally, this is what self-defense uh, law is like. Like, you can only defend yourself up to the point where um, you save your own life or whatever, you know? If you do any more, like, excessive force, then it's not self-defense anymore, it's either assault, you know, or, like, just murder if you kill the guy, I guess. But that, that is, like, a law in Canada. I don't know how to, I mean, obviously it's probably different in other places, but I know that's law in Canada anyway. You can't just, like, you know, <laughs> continue to try to kill the person <laughs> after they attack you. You're not allowed to do that. Maybe in Texas? You know, isn't it like a Texas, you know, law that you can do that though? When someone tries to enter your house, you can just murder them? I don't know. Anyway, maybe that's just a stereotype, but like, I think it's real. Anyway, he goes in, he's like, oh no, he's like, oop, stab. He's like, eh, I'm dying, help. Hmm. What happened here? After she was stabbed, she was like, strike, leave something behind. Okay, well, that's a dying message right there. As she like, <gasps> it's like, hee hee, I did it. They bleh. All right, but then after that though, he's like, "Ooh, man, that was a word. <laughs> Murder is so is quite exhausting." Wow. Um, so he took off his clothes, and he's just naked, and then just like I, I assume, I guess yeah, he took out the lint roller and cleaned some stuff up, cleaned the hair, I guess. I guess the reason why he cleaned up the hair is because his hair is quite unique. You know, he has orange hair. I don't know anyone else has like orange hair, so maybe that's why. Clean the the hair and everything. He's like, "Hmm, here's the trash." room he's like well, time to throw the thing into the trash like he put the clothes in i guess at first and then he did the whole like hiya you know isn't it like an anime or like a manga or both actually it's kind of based on like baseball or whatever or throwing stuff so i think it was called one out or something anyway kind of reminds me of that um but yeah he threw the thing in there and then it's like oh no no no, no actually i think that's, that's that's later i think 
I'll be able to activate the reserve. Okay, well, he got the ball first. Okay, he got the ball first, and then he threw. Okay, I thought he threw the thing first. Anyway, he threw, he threw the ball first, activate the incinerator, kablam! And then he threw the thing inside the incinerator. Okay, makes sense. Oh, well, that makes sense. Because the thing's on fire already. Anyway, I think that's it. And then he leaves like, haha, I did it. I, even though I'm gray and bald, I think I did it. However, a piece of, you know, piece the, the thing that, you know, got him uh, caught was like a little piece of evidence that we on the ground. If we didn't got, you know, if we didn't have this, then maybe he couldn't have got away with it. Maybe. All right, I think that's it. So like, do -do 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 yeah, I think that's it. I mean, if we get it wrong, we can just try again, I think. I mean, the only red herring was just this thing. This is a red herring right here. All right, we can act. Yeah, music. さ、Great Perry. Again, I gotta say, I like the art style. I don't know, I, it looks different from the, the main art style. I don't know if it's by the same artist, but it, uh, you know, it's interesting. <laughs> I like it. It looks different, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just so used to uh, looking at the, the sprites, you know? I don't actually see all the different poses and facial expressions. He really thought he was gonna get biscuits and tea, but too bad for him. Instead, he got murder! Um, even if he fled the scene after getting attacked, probably still be framed as the attacker. Would exactly make his future life easier? Um. Uh, what do you mean? Like. Like. You, like. 
like after he succeeded, you know, maybe? Is what you mean by that? Make his future life easier. I don't know. Well, I mean, I do know what happens when you get a wave murder, but we haven't reached that point yet anyway. <sighs> Oh, if he left before killing her. I don't know. Um, hmm. I guess yeah. What would happen actually? We framed it. I mean, no one, no one would die in that case, right? Because Saika would attack him, and then he parried, or whatever, and then he just leaves. You know, he doesn't bother killing her, and then she's like, "Whoops!" <laughs> you know, attempted murder. Hmm. I guess he would live in paranoia. I guess. Because then it'd be like, oh, somebody tried to kill me. Oh no, you know? And then I guess he'll, he'll just have to be looking over his shoulder the entire time. But then again, I don't know. I mean, obviously the story would just be different after that point. But you know, that's not really the story of Danganronpa. The whole point is like, I feel like anyway, they, they, they were trying to make Saika to be all, you know, so sweet and innocent, right? And it just seems to be that she's only a victim and everything. The whole point is that I think, you know, she kind of her own fault you know that she attacked somebody in the first place right and everything i don't know i, I, I but i feel like it would be different you know if he left and everything you know um hmm. i mean saika i guess would just like pretend that he attacked her i, I guess instead but i mean again that would just that would just be an entirely different story i feel like i don't know you know probably this like fan fiction you know this probably i mean i imagine dog rip is you know it's a, it's a little niche but there is a lot of there's a there's a lot of uh, people who like it so i imagine there's probably a bunch of fan fiction that probably involves exactly that or something i don't know <laughs> anyway it'd be inter inter interesting to have to live with someone who, who attempted a failed murder yes interesting of course anyway anyway so yeah okay so he threw the ball boop um <笑>そして消極炉を稼働を始めた。へ。ってへへ。やりが。こうして証拠隠滅した犯人は安心し、すぐにトラッシュルームを後にした。だけどそこには誤算があったんだ。That's a lot of earrings on his one ear. I think the, I'm trying to remember. I think the art style, by the way, I don't know if it's this game, but I think the art style does change actually. Uh, in between, you know, every case, there's always like, you know, a, a concluding statement and then the art changes every single time. Maybe it's like a different artist that does it every time, but anyway. There you go. We found the murderer. Yes, objection. I object. <laughs> For the sake of objecting. Yo, they, you know, the villains always say this in Phoenix, right? You know, it's all, it's all, it's all, this is all just, um, what's the word? Circumstantial evidence, you know, this is all conjecture. Where's the evidence? Yeah, we now have to uh, present the updated autopsy report. I have the evidence. Uh, your first bullet time battle is about to begin, which is like you're more sure. So this is like, you know, the last thing you do, I guess, in the case. I, I feel like some people have problems with it, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes during class row, your opponent simply don't won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you have to gauge them in a head-to-head -head battle. We like to refer to this as the bullet time battle, aka the 
B, aka the BTB BTW, by the way. Uh, during the BTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in a time with the rhythm. Match your button press with each tempo marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. Press the right mouse button to lock onto opponent's statement. Destroy the statement you locked on with the left mouse button as the tempo marker reaches the center. Use the method to deal damage to your opponent. If you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Do this consecutively and you'll start a combo. Keep this going, you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll keep the you'll get into a tempo down situation. When tempo changes, so does the time of e hitting each button. So watch out for that. Alright. Deal no damage to, the, to your opponent, and then the weak spot spirit will appear. At that point, you can press the left mouse button to shoot it down with truth bullet like any other statement. If you their statement fast enough, you'll come out victorious. But just like before, if your influence gauge reaches zero and you're out of time, you fail. Well, then good luck and have fun, yeah. I remember this, basically it's a rhythm game, you know. I kind of don't like it, it's kind of a weird rhythm game. It doesn't really, like, hit the music, you know, but I guess we'll see. They used something of their own to remove the screws. Could it have been... Aho, aho, I remember, yeah. Aho, aho, aho! Uh, oh, Leon. I have to show indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer. I need to figure it out. Alright, here we go. I remember Dongarupa 2, actually. I got stuck a few times, but... I mean, I guess we'll... I'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. Aho. Yeah, it's a weird rhythm game. I don't know. You're like more like the drums than the actual rhythm. You know, usually when you do a rhythm, you do like like the melody or something. It's all bullshit. Nope. Took it. There you go. So apparently we heard before, you know, uh, nobody used their toolkits, and all the guys anyway. Apparently we've been told that nobody used their toolkit, but someone must have must have used their toolkit, and it probably is the killer, right? So all we have to do is check. Uh, I bet someone made a remix of all those remarks. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, it sounds like, uh, oh, you know, like YouTube poop <laughs> or something. YouTube poop, like music remixes. So it reminds me of you just like especially the anime ones you just like uh you know in time of the song just like repeat some dialogue from the anime character and everything i remember and then you know it, it feels like it fits the song or whatever but anyway sometimes you even like you know auto-tune it but, but yeah Screwdriver. だったら配られた工具セットの中にあったべ。あれを使ったんでしょうな。他に工具などありませんでしたし。だけど僕の部屋にあった工具セットも使われた形跡なんてなかったんだ。犯人は現場を内木君の部屋ではなく埋蔵
dumbass, you know? I mean, I feel like that would fit better. He's like saying, dumbass, 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 you know, whatever. Aho is like a, a, a little bit like harsher than, than just saying stupid, I feel like. But it depends on the context, I guess. Anyway. It's like, because Aho usually means, yeah, like, like someone just really dumb or something. But obviously, he's just saying it as a swear word. <laughs> What does this remind me of? I feel this is a reference to some kind of anime or something. He just turns into nothing. He just fades out of existence. He just, you know. <laughs> Wobble out of existence. There you go. That is the end of the first trial in chapter one. Leon Kowata was the killer and he killed uh, Sayaka, the idol. There you go. And also A. Can you get S by the way in this game? I don't know. I took I took my time though. I don't really care. Obviously the points don't really matter. <laughs> I guess. But you know. I kind of just took my time. So I didn't really pay attention to like the time limit and all that. Anyway. A. Yeah, some I mean, getting medals is good, though. There you go. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Leon no kejiron ga deta mitai desu ne. Dewa, soro soro, tohyo time to ikimashou ka. I guess more gacha currency. More whaling later. 80, 80 rolls. Omae ra, otemoto no suichi de tohyo shite kudasai. ね、のためにとくよ。必ず誰かに投票するようにしてくださいね。こんなつまらないことでパツを受けたくないでしょ。はい。では、張り切って参りますよ。投票の結果、黒となるのは誰か。その答えは正解なのか正解なのか。<
Hey, come on. You expect me to just accept my death? Everything has become clear. The decision we made was right after all. When I think about that, honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if what we came up with was really the truth, then that truth is that Saika was trying to frame me. But even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind. It's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Can't afford to be stuck in here. She <laughs> The one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends. To have to see something like that happen to them. And Sayaka. I did whatever it took to reach that dream, including sexual favors. I'm sorry. I mean, again, it, ha it probably happens in the idol industry. A lot of fucked up things. All I'm saying. I mean, even some things that weren't so pleasant. Look. Actually, how old is she? Anyway. Look, the idol industry is very cutthroat, you know? That's all I'm saying. And that's why Saika, for the things, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. Ururagi. So when she said, <laughs> she was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. I'll never donate to a to a, to a female streamer ever again. No, um, or like, well, in particular, like I don't know what do you call it. Not just female streamer. I mean, you know, like uh. E-girl, you know, is that the stereotype? E-girl streamer? Anyway, is that why she talked to me in the first place? I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing you can do to ask her what she was really thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. Boop, 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 boy, howdy. The entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside, she's descended to a pure madness. Oh, what did you say? Hmm. I understand. Really, I do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Saika's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Saika being forced to do something like that. All of it, everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly in a frenzy, I lunge at Monokuma. But... As angry as I was, Kokyo latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron. Strong enough, I was sure it would leave a bruise. Ow! Stop! Ow, that hurts. Ow, Kyokyo. If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Damn it. Oh, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were going to give me a good walloping. Just barely avoided punishment you did. Hi. Now then, since you so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the black and Leon Kuta will receive his punishment. Uh, time for the true wife of the shine. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people like Kyoko. I mean, I, it's obvious that she's like uh, the rational one, you know. She kind of like carries, I feel like. I mean, especially as you see in the first case. She kind of knows a lot, you know? Anyway. She's not my favorite, though, I must say, but... Anyway. We'll see. Punishment? It's okay? Okay, again, it's weird. Some, some of the lines are voice, some of them are not. Anyway. So it's kind of hard to, like, determine when I should read it, <laughs> so... I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It, it was self-defense. How exactly was it self-defense? Hmm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? After she shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. And you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom and killed her. Am I wrong? You had any number of chances to stop what you were doing. 
but you chose not to. Man, she's scary. I like it though, anyway. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? Uh, no, no, that's not... Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh, are you sure? You were close to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Sayaka. Do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because... Because the one to blame is him. Yeah. If it weren't for you, this never would have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation. The mastermind. Uh-oh. Did you wake into your sense of justice? Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's the people with that sort of mentality that perpetuate war all over the world. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up! Okay, well anyway, more importantly... Let's hurry up and get to whatever has been waiting well, what everyone's been waiting for. The punishment. Uh, you imagine Makoto is just pointing the finger like being right? Yeah, I mean, he, there was like a, a sprite actually where he did that actually. I didn't mention it, but you know, he did do the finger, the finger point. I'm begging you, please don't do this. No more begging, no more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Shakai, I think. Shakai, I think, is society in Japanese. I don't know, I just randomly remember that. Shakai. Yeah, stop it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I know. Here we go. This is the fr the the probably the the most see the, the one scene that everyone remembers when they play Danganronpa. I feel like time for punishment. So yeah, that was quite brutal. <laughs> it's also funny, by the way, when they did close up on the faces, they, they, even like Monokuma was surprised, even though he was, he was the one that killed him. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you know, it's quite brutal actually. Um, so yeah, it's like it's like what do you call it? Is that like that movie called Saw or whatever? It's a very uh, ironic death. You know, obviously he's a baseball star, so he gets executed with a bunch of baseballs. There you go. I think it's it's so it's quite brutal because um. I think this is one of the scenes that was kind of like from the the beta version of this game, you know, distrust or whatever, as I mentioned before. So that's why it's kind of so brutal. I think the other, well, we'll see. You, you know, we'll see about the the later ones. But anyway, but this one was, uh, yeah, this one was super brutal because uh, I think it's kind of like a um, what do you call it, like a layover? I don't know if that's the right word, but you know, it, it's it's from when the game was a lot more darker and edgier, basically. So that's why it's it's so you know, it's so violent. Anyway, uh, you remember the beta execution distrust? Pretty similar. Yeah, yeah, the exact the same scene probably. You know, except different faces, I guess. 
when they had different designs to them. Uh, probably one of the better ways to die in the series? Maybe. I guess was- I don't know, I don't remember... Mm, I guess we'll see. Anyway, when it, <laughs> Anyway. Alright, so, yeah, he got battered by a thousand base- I mean, it's- I mean, it's pretty, yeah. I mean, just imagine just slowly dying from, like, so many baseball hits to your body. That's, like, literally bludgeoned to death. I don't know. It's quite painful, I imagine. Anyway, what we saw... That was the true face of despair. Yeah, even the blood didn't look big. Really, I, I couldn't tell because it looked like the lighting was different, but... Yeah, maybe that's, again, the, the, the very similar cutscene to the beta version of the game. I mean, if you can't call it that, what else could we call it? Woohoo! Man, my dread is popping right out of control. Woo! Yep. What's going on? I I can't take this anymore. Oh no! Okay, I can't. The, 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 these lines are voice, but <laughs> okay. Now it's not voice. Ah. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well, hey, if you don't like it. All you gotta do is swear to cut all ties of the outside world except living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you get on board of that. I don't remember that. Again, from Zonkey Zero. Monokuma would like laugh at that when you try to kill him. It's like, every time he moves, you know? He just made that sound. Anyway. Man, fuck you! Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? Evil? Make it sound like I'm some dark awful secret society type of guy. Or in this case, a dark awful secret society type of bear. Um, so why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. Also a firework- I- this, ah, That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. You know, I want to execute the person shooting a firework right now. What I want to do. I'll give him the ironic death by shooting them in the face of a firework. No, um... No. Hey, uh, I don't think what you're saying and what I'm- uh, I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying is quite fit together. You piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass to the ground. You must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. What happened happened because more than one of you decided that you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't go free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. Uh, you don't hear any fireworks? Yeah, I mean, it might be a little bit faint. Maybe my headphones, I don't know. But I do notice on OBS that it, the, it picks up a little bit. I don't know, again, left fireworks. I can hear it anyway. Kaboom, you know? You imagine the fireworks. Boom. You can hear it. Anyway. Of course we can't cut free of the outside world. You trapped this insane place. Hmm, you're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of this school, your thinking will change for sure. You think, boy, is this so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What are you trying to say? I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. That's what everyone's waiting for. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? Mm, sorry, I said everything I've got to say. I need to say some of the fun for later. Okay, bye. And just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Makoto, can I talk to you talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my ear. Luda. Before we head back, 
There's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Saika, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Saika betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that. Saika meant to double-cross you. That's a fact that you could never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Saika would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back to the person who killed her. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think that's what it was. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. So. Without something like that, or without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry the memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. <laughs> By the way, I have to admit I'm curious. How did you, do, how did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well. <laughs> I guess I'm psychic. Kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. <laughs> Alright. A little, uh, you know, a little wink and a nod to, like, uh, Saika's famous catchphrase. Anyway. Espa. Descara. There you go. 12 students left. The number's gonna go down. To be continued. I got a bat! I could use it to, you know, cave someone's skull in. Yeah, save the game. All right, there you go. That was chapter one, end of the trial, end of Leon and his broken corpse. And so we go into chapter two. There you go. You know, if you if you're not really buying into like Dong Europa at this point, you know, in chapter one, I feel like I don't know. You're crazy <laughs> because I like this. I like I don't know. this is when I like really got into the game and like I just like. Binged it basically. I really, I don't really like it. So I'm excited to go through more of it. You know, but I guess we'll see.